Ah, okay. Hello. Welcome. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. I'm doing pretty good. Let's continue with Pool of Radiance. Uh, last time, we actually finished in clearing out Valhingen Graveyard. Of a lot of undead nasties. Sprite, uh, no, not sprites. Uh, spirits, spectres, vampires, whites, ghouls, zombies, juju zombies, skeletons. You name it. Two mummies. The vampire was the most powerful thing. That fight was... It went quite well, considering. Uh, only took like two or three tries. Turns out, as I found out last time also, uh, charm is permanent. Or... Not... E effectively permanent? Apparently it lasts either a few days or weeks. But during combat, you don't have that type of time. So yes, uh, we've leveled up all of our characters again, also. Well, most of them, I think. Balagar is level 6. Rala is level 6. Volkmar is level 6. Scampers is level 7. Egrim is level 6. Elspeth is level 6. And Durton. Durton is potentially level 6, but I'm not going to spend the money in leveling him up. Because he's an NPC, and, you know. He's there just to... Uh, Supply some extra firepower, and no other reason. Because I'm assuming he will leave our party as soon as we've done what he wants, to, what he's there for. Which is what we're going to continue with, because he joined us to clear out the Temple of Bane. And while we, we might get to that this time, we're certainly going to try and clear out this Koval Mansion place, which we... Had a look at before I went to town and they told us that the uh, Valhingen graveyard was kind of a big issue and we went off and did that. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Uh, parlay abusive. Yep. Hmm. Maybe I should fight them. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so yes. Let us go leave. And we have to go into the uh, north, the upper entrance to the city, but on the east side of the river. That means again, ooh, what's this? We have found a small wooden grove. Will you enter? Uh, sure. You are at the edge of the grove. Okay. What? What is this? You're about to leave this area. Do you want to leave? Uh, no. Return. I'm in intrigued by this return. Okay, I suppose that hedgerow is uh, the edge of the grove? Yeah. This has completely derailed what I was planning on doing, but... Uh, Hmm. What is this? Ooh! A swarm of Sturges swoops down and attacks the party. Okay, hello Sturges. They have life drain, I think. There, yeah, they drain blood. They're not a big deal. Uh, oh right, yeah, Scampus now has the sling of, her sling of seeking, plus two. However, to deal with this Sturges, we will unequip it and equip your short sword. Okay. Stab. You miss. Uh, we shouldn't need to cast any magic. These things are pretty weak. Case in point. Ow! Oh, he's paralyzed. Right. Okay. Uh, cast a magic missile then. And dead. Okay. Well, good thing Volkmar wasn't instantly killed there. 39 experience points. Yay. And no loot. Let's encamp. Save under B. Nope. And continue. 
this just going to be like a grove of sturges? Hmm. Uh Return? Is there anything around here? Hello! Welcome, welcome. Bring my attention to this. Is it just for the fight with Sturges? Okay, I'm going to go back in here. Ooh. I was just going to start searching and uh, then we get waylaid by Sturges again. Not done with Pool of Radiance yet? No, no, not yet. <laughs> I don't know how far through we are. Uh, our characters are getting up to the max level. Um, I really don't know. I haven't played this game before, so, uh, well, I haven't finished it before. I'm guessing we're maybe three quarters of the way through the game? Dab. There we go. And like that. And there. There we go. Guard. 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 Nope. Okay, more experience points. Uh, if I go into the center, look, nothing. Look, nothing. Look, nothing. Look, nothing. Is there anything here? Something hidden in a tree, perhaps? Ooh, more Sturges. <laughs> this is just apparently a grove of Sturges. Is that what this is? Just like, you have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Ow. Damn it. Past. Magic missile. Oh, you're not paralyzed now. Wait. Uh, uh, apparently you are, but you're not. I don't understand that. Okay. And uh, deal with you. And you. There we go. Easy. Nope. Oh. Cool. There we go. What am I going to play when I'm done with this game? I don't really know. Hmm. Probably a first person shooter again. Mix it up a bit. I've had some long series in the past. This isn't the longest I've done. Uh, I think... Let me see. I think the longest I did was Dungeon Keeper 1. Forget how many episodes that was. I could actually check. Uh, let me see. Go to here. Uh, Dungeon Keeper Gold. It was 23 parts long. Might have been longer ones, I'm not too sure. Uh, Dungeon Keeper 2 was 12 parts long. Uh, yeah. Heretic was only 14. So, you know. Uh, uh, we could just leave. There doesn't seem to be anything here for us to find. That just seemed like a little random encounter. What a group of merchants! Parlay. And they just say hey. They just say hi and then leave. Okay, go down here. And in camp. B, no. And we want to enter the uh, northern city gates. There we go, and back to the Koval Mansion. Play Arkham. <laughs> Possibly. I would like to play through that again. Uh, play through that at some point. Maybe. I'll have a bit of a break period between RPGs because I do know these are but rather long. So I enjoy them, but I want to break them up with some smaller things in between. I think is best. Um, let me see. We cleared out pretty much everywhere in there, but apparently we haven't cleared it out of thieves completely. So we'll go back in. And, uh, just roam around and kill any thieves we come across. Attack him. 
I was letting these people go, but maybe that's counting against us clearing the place out. Stab. Stab. Come on, Irala, you can hit her. Him. Stab. There we go. Nope. 65 experience points. More than all the Sturges we killed. Uh, more than the, uh, one of, one of the groups of Sturges we killed. Items, what have you got? A long sword. Ah, forget it. We don't need any of this loot. We'll just keep roaming around fighting any encounters we come across. Hello. As you enter the room, you are ambushed by ambushed by some thieves. Hmm. Play Iron Maiden then, or whatever the name it was changed to. Ah. Uh, yeah, Ion Fury. Hmm. I have thought of that. I finished Duke Nukem 3D. I don't know what the next build engine game I'd be playing after that would be. Possibly Blood? Uh. Come on, they're just thieves. Why are you missing them so much? Embarrassing. Cast. Old person. Cast. Sleep. Cast it there. There we go. Stab. Uh. That one. That one. And that one. There we go. They're the six level thieves. Ow. Oh, come on. What's their armor? Or, suppose. Thank you. Bonk. Uh. There we go. Cast. Curse. Let's curse it up. Um, cast any more magic. They're just thieves. They're not, all these are just like first level thieves. We should not have any real major difficulties with dealing with them. Cast it there. Hmm? Balagar has minus four ACC and the others have minus two ACC. That's probably why I'm missing. Ah, uh, well. Uh, the AC is armor class, and that's sort of how hard it is to hit us. Uh, the way the armor class works in these older D&D &D games is rather complicated. It's not really... it takes a little bit to wrap your head around, but... The process of, like, it's just addition and subtraction. Um, okay, let's see. Um, So... I'm currently looking at a little pop-up for this first level thief here. <clears throat> they have an AC of 4, which is their armor class of 4. And uh, they have a Thacko of 20. ACC is accuracy, if you're not mistaken. Uh, there's no accuracy, accuracy stat. There's a uh, Thacko. Thacko is our to-hit chance. <clears throat> um, and it's modified, I think, by a level. And possibly some other things, depending on the class, but, uh... So, for example, this first level Thief here, which I'm looking at, uh, it has a Thacko of 20. That means Thacko is, uh, an acronym standing for 2-hit armor class 0. 
Which means that for a first level thief to hit a character or any monster with an armor class of zero, they have to roll at least a twenty on a on a d on a d twenty or a twenty sided dice. Um, so to be able to hit us, they have to roll. Uh, to be able to hit any of my characters which have an AC of zero, they have to hit a twenty. Egrim here, who has an AC of four, uh, what you do is that you take their Thacko, which is twenty, and AC four is worse than AC zero. So you minus the four AC here from Egrim from the thief's Thacko. To, which means that the thief, instead of hitting on a 20, would be hitting on a 16 plus on a 20 sided die. So if I have Balagar here, who has, I think, a minus 2 AC, what that means is that for a first level thief, a 20 always hits. If they roll a 20 on a 20 sided die, that's automatically a hit. Doesn't matter how low the Thacko is. However, if they had a Thacko of, say, 18 to hit an armor class of 0, then the minus 2 AC which Belagar would have would mean that that 18 Thacko would be 20 because you take the minus 2 and you plus it to the 18 Thacko to get 20. Um, it's... <laughs> that, 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 that's my understanding of it. I, I think I'm correct on that. It's... Later D&D replace the Thacko system. Easiest thing is that the AC we see here, this is my armor class, the lower this is, into negatives, the better it is. Uh, we have another stat, if we look here, called our Thacko, which is our to hit chance. So Elspeth here has a Thacko of 19. That means to hit an armor class, to hit armor class 0 is 19. So... Anyway. <laughs> uh, I explained it as much just for my own benefit so that I can try and understand it myself because uh, it's like I'm kind of used to it from other role playing games which use the system as well but uh, the specifics of it are always a bit lost on me. <laughs> oh boy. Bogmar has an a, a Thacko of 15, so he's hitting an armor class of 0 on a 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, he's got an AC of minus 1, which means if someone was hitting him with a Thacko of 15, it would be instead a Thacko of 16. There we go. I think for Scamper's dexterity might... Uh, I've just skipped a turn there. I think for scampers, their dexterity might come into how easy it is there, how easy it is for them to hit something, but I'm not too sure on that. The manual doesn't explain the uh, deeper workings of these mechanics. I think in these early ones, Thacko would get better the higher level your character is, as a sort of way to say... Oh, you know, the fighter level 1, compared to a fighter level 5, the fighter level 5 has a greater chance to hit things because they're more skilled with their weapons. But that's not actually like a uh, weapon skill stat in the game. Unlike later D&D &D games, where you could actually see, be proficient with a longsword or an axe or whatever. It's such a bizarre way, why did they do it around the other way? I'm sure they had good reasons. Uh... Remember, this is based originally on a tabletop game, so you'd be rolling dice and a bit of, uh, you know, addition and subtraction. It wouldn't be too um, big of an issue. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, when was D and D written? Seventy eight, something like that. I should know that. Let me have a look. Uh. D&D. First edition D&D. Dungeons and Dragons. It was first published in 1974 by Tactical Studies Rules Inc. TSR. 
by Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson. There you go. Uh, anyway. Oh, we find a trap. Uh, disarm the trap. Who will disarm the trap? Scampers will. A scything blade drops across the doorway, damaging one of the characters. Dirt is hit for four points of damage. Okay. Well, <laughs> wop wop. Bash the door down. Hello, any more thieves in here? I think in later D and D setting D and D games, armor class is better the higher it is. But I'm not that. I'm more familiar with Thacko than I am with the more recent versions of D and D. That's because these older games are the ones which I played the most of. Uh, though I believe Neverwinter Nights is using third edition, and that has AC. The higher it is, the better it is, rather than going into negative. <sighs> Scampers, you're level six. Why do you keep missing all these traps? Ooh, search casket. Hey, Carcass, casket is empty. Yeah, we've already searched all those. Search casket, B, empty. Search, C, empty. Search, D, empty. Leave. Bash the door down. Oop. Bash it down. Hello! As you enter the room, two thieves come out of nowhere and attack the party. They fail miserably and run out the east door. Will you chase them? Yes. As you enter this room, the two thieves split. One goes through the east door, the other one goes through the south. Which path do you take? Uh. South. You have caught one of the thieves. The thief begs for mercy and says, I am the guildmaster. If you release me, my thieves will no longer attack you. What will you do? Hmm. Do we trust the thief for his word? We were told to clear out the uh, mansion of thieves. And uh, letting him go is not clearing it out. So... What I do like the other D&D that you have, add the armor class. Difficulty so higher armor class is harder to hit, not the other way around. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. This, for, as far as I understand, D&D, this D&D this was the original one. So there wasn't like other ones to take examples from. There was tabletop war games before then, and that was partly what it was based off of. Um, with like, you know, metal and lead. Or lead pewter models. Um, that's getting far, ah, far back. So <laughs> it is kind of com it is kind of confusing, and uh, that is why it was was changed later on. Um, it's I I do retain it's not as complicated as it seems it's just it's odd <laughs> uh but i kind of like it for its oddness anyway uh we'll just attack him probably not the uh guild leader what is he it's just a six, sixth sixth level thief and now it's a sixth level corpse Nope. Yay. Uh, take. Items. It's got a long sword. Money. Six gold. Uh, yes, actually. Volkmar. Detect. Take. Items. It's just a normal long sword. It wasn't even worth my effort. Uh. Oh, I hope we got the right one. Bash the door down. Apparently we got through that door without... Uh... Without bashing it down while we were chasing the thief? 
Okay, where was it? It was over here. Let me just do another uh, circuit of this place. Entering rooms and... That was a room where we found... Uh... A guy, <laughs> which we rescued. Oh, it was the old guild leader. That's right. Another scything blade. We just keep bumbling into these, into these traps. If we had detect traps cast we wouldn't be getting hit by them but uh oh boy poison is gas but we didn't get injured by it okay i think cleared out pretty much all of that Let's hope that's good enough. Let's go and have a look at these rooms again. Don't know what these are. Servants quarters? Stables perhaps? I could play one of the Call of Cthulhu games. Possibly. I've played uh, Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth before. The one made by or published by Bethesda. That's alright. It falls apart towards the end. There's another game which came out a few years ago which is more like a first person adventure game which I like the look of. I forget what it was. It has elder things in it. Let's go to the wealthy area. In camp B O. Wealthy area. Magical items to find, perhaps. Okay, going east there would be towards the Temple of Bane. What's in here? A uh, house? Apparently so. Is there anything on in here on the floors? You spot a group of orcs. Oh, we missed them before, apparently. We have surprised them. Combat. Yeah, that's a bit of a group of orcs. Cast. Fireball. Uh, cast. Sleep. There we go. There's one thief who escaped. Yeah, there was. I had a look around. I couldn't find him again. Tell me that you're super happy to see me playing this game. I'm super happy to be playing it. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Um, a whole bunch of CRPGs which I didn't play when they originally came around. Also, welcome. Partly because it was just before my time, but... Uh, there we go. That was a pretty good fireball. Get rid of them. And you. You can guard, flash, stab. Bit of a waste using a fireball against the orcs, but hey, we've got it. We may as well use it. Nope. 41 experience points. Whoopee. Uh, take. I don't need that. There wasn't even any weapons on them. Leave. Anything else in here? Aside from a massive amount of orcs we somehow missed the first time around. Nope. There you go. The mods for this game are the best. Where do I find this edition? Uh, this is just a base game. I'm running it with a uh, program called Goldbox Companion, which adds this top bar at the top here and uh, this map over here. It's a program which you can run in concurrent concurrently with it. Um, to give you a little bit of extra information. I've mostly added it, uh, well, the map for my own benefit. But, uh, also just so that 
um, viewers have a little bit more to look at. It's also easier. You can see health totals and effects which um, hit the characters and all that. So it's quite useful. Um, it also has a bunch of things for like, uh, it's got more cheaty things for it where you can like make your own items and I think make your own monsters and all that, but I haven't looked at that. I've just been using it for uh, the map, which you can put little, uh, what's it called, notes on it. And uh, up here, there's a bunch of options when I look over it. But I haven't really done anything with this since I'm look reading the uh, the uh, manual and the uh, PDFs which came with the game. I got the game from uh, GOG. But it's quite good. Okay. Uh, go here. There. I'm glad that one of my uh, previous viewers suggested it to me. Okay, well, there wasn't really anything in that house. Let's save and go there. Oop, more orcs. You see a large group of foul orcs. They do something and attack. Dink. God. Hack. And you can just hold. And you can hold. Ow! Don't hit Durton! Dab. Dab. Malika, are you using your uh, long sword, uh, your two handed sword against undead? I should switch you back over to your sword and shield, shouldn't I? Because these aren't undead. They'll soon be dead, but uh, let's see. Oh no, you're using your long sword plus one. Yeah, you've got an AC minus four. Ah, uh, Volkmar. Cure Light Wounds. And cast it on Durton. Yay, that was a significant heal. Okay. Uh, go there. Volkmar, go here. Cast. Cure Light Wounds. Uh, you can just guard. Your scampers. Great. One hit point. Thank you. Continue battle? No. Uh, take. What have they got? Money. I don't need it! I should play Stygian Reign of the Old Ones. Oop. Part of that, I just bought my pop filter. Canarium also sounds good. Is that the one which I was thinking of? Hmm. Let me just have a look. Uh... Let's have a look at Stygian. Hmm. It's like a role-playing game. Okay. Um. And. What's the other one? Oh, that's not how you spell it. Canarium. Is this the one I was thinking of? It might be. Yeah, I think this is the one I was thinking of. It's got the one with the elder things in it, Canarium. Yeah. It's like, uh... Oh, uh, what was that game? It's kind of like, uh... Amnesia, or, uh... What was that other game where... Um, you wake up with, like, the future, and everyone's gone. Or there's that game where, where you're underwater. Yeah, th that one where you're underwater and all that. Anyway. I remember watching a bit of a video in the, of that. It's been saying, oh, it's based off of Lovecraft. I might stop watching this so that I can think of possibly getting into the future so I don't spoil myself on it. So goblin slaves, they're cowering in a the corner. They scream, please don't kill us. What do you do? And let them go. You let the goblins go. If they leave, one of them says, to enter the temple, you need a holy symbol of Bane. Okay. Where might we get one? Uh, a 
but we didn't need one from earlier. Before you was a great hall. The floor is littered with orc trash, and the walls have crude black hands printed on them. Painted on them. Hmm. Looks great, but you don't know if I'll be able to stream it. Moons of Madness. I haven't heard that. It's also Darkest Dungeons, which isn't specifically Lovecraftian based, but it's Lovecraftian themed. Lovecraft based, but it's uh, inspired by it. I haven't played that. Maybe. Uh, save. Nope. Exit. And you see a group of four orcs whose shields bear a black hand on a red field. They cautiously look you over. The orcs ready their spears. Wait. Both sides hold. <laughs> the orcs ready their spears. Advance. The orcs ready their spears. Um. Well. I mean. We're here to clear them. We're here, we're here to clear them out of the area. Would we get any benefit from talking to them? Hmm. They'll probably just leave if we talk to them. Combat. Ab. Only four orcs. Yeah, they're just normal orcs. I feel we're a bit over leveled for this, but hey, whatever. There we go. Uh, no. Nine experience points. Hooray. Take. Uh, items? Six leather holy symbols. Ah, those are probably holy symbols of Bane. Now, do we need one each for our characters? I'm overloaded. Why do these things have to be so freaking heavy? <laughs> Can anyone carry these? Can we take one at a time, perhaps? Uh... Uh, pull the money. Take items. Take. Share the money out again. There we go. We managed to pick up all the uh leather thingies. Six leather holy symbols. So I'm gonna trade. Uh, let's see. Half. Half again. And again. And again. And. Again. We can't have it anymore because we don't have any more inventory space. Trade this to Rala. Trade this to Falkmar. Overloaded. Trade this to Scampers. Trade this to Eggroom. Arv. Trade this to Elspeth. And we're going to have to give one to Falkmar. Falkmar's inventory is full of scrolls, isn't it? Yes, it is. Trade that to Scampers. Trade that to Scampers. And another one to Scampers. Belagar. Trade one to Volkmar. He's still overloaded! Lad! Why can't you hold this? Trade your mace to Scampers. There we go. Now can you hold it? Overloaded still. Uh. What's your strength? 12. I suppose. That's why you're so... You're having difficulty carrying these things. Thank you. Finally. Okay. Save. D. There we go. Well, we got these, uh... Seeds. I wonder whether we have to ready them. We have to wear them. No. That's not what I want. Let's, uh, put them on.
find out they're cursed and we can't take them off. Nope, they're not cursed. There we go. We're going incognito. Durton, Durton you don't have one, so uh, you're just going to blow our cover from all this effort, but oh well. Can't say we didn't try. Cure light wounds on scampers. And cure light wounds on scampers again. Great. That's like four hit points out of two casts. Blah. That might be. Oh. Wounds of madness. Okay. Let me have a look at this. Wounds of madness. Uh. First person story driven cosmic horror game. Ooh. That seems interesting. Hmm. Possibly. I see tentacular beasts. <laughs> pretty pretty Lovecraftian. What's that other one? There's a uh, prey, is it? That's something which I kind of broadly looked at, which people said was quite good. But I never actually ended up purchasing it. So praise is that it's Prey the multiplayer game, or is that another thing? No, that's a GTFO, isn't it? Yeah. All these games. And I'm playing games from 1988. <laughs> it's old, it's still good. It's from the same creators as the park. A good game for which you remember in shortish. I don't remember the park. Hmm. The park. No, not South Park. Not out of the park baseball. <laughs> These aren't the things you're talking about, are they? Subnautica is also something which I'd like to try. Though I watched a full playthrough of it, so it's kind of, you know. It's not the same as experiencing yourself, but it, well, the whole sort of mystery of things is kind of go. Oh, the park, that one. Yeah, I recognise the image for that. Yeah, with the with the uh, chipmunk thingy. Yeah. Okay. Fun call. Hmm. Interesting. Stand outside the large mansion. On the walls of the mansion, a crude black hand prints. Right. Camp, save, no, go in. Hello, any orcs in here? No. Okay, let's go in here then. You were in the remains of a once great dining room. Furniture lies burnt and broken throughout the room. You'd think they'd be trying to resell the furniture. You were in a room filled with rubble and waste. Oh, hello. That's an ogre. As you enter the room, you see six o orcs led by an ogre. Five orcs. Four orcs. Tab. Remember when an ogre was scary? Remember when we could hit ogres? I remember. How could you miss it? It's massive. Dead. Now it's massively dead. There you go. Bonk. No idea. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Hit! Hit something, please! Thank you. Nope. 42 experience points. Take. That's useless. Uh, exit. I don't want that. You find a piece of paper on the floor in the room. You place it in your journal under entry 53. Okay, let me write this down. Uh, journal entry 53. Uh, for people, I am using a notepad to uh, write down all of these journal entries. At least the entries so that I can look over what we have later on. Since the game doesn't take keep track of them for myself. Uh, what was that? 53? Yes, it was. Um...
Okay, here we go. A crumbled, discarded piece of paper full of rub outs and scratch overs. Priests, one. Acolytes, four. Ogres, one. Hobgoblins, 40. Orcs, 90. Goblin slaves, 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you taking like an itinerary? Uh, just. This is what we're reading over there. Apparently they're writing down how many of each type they have. Very organized. <laughs> Some would say evil, evilly organized. They must be led by a higher power. Maybe. Okay, well. Yes, yes. You see a group of four orcs whose shields bear a black hand on a red field. They cautiously look you over. Uh, advance. Combat. May as well get all up in their face. Ow. Ow. Stop that. Are they armed with spears? I mean, their image doesn't show that, but uh, I wonder whether they actually have spears as weapons. I don't think they're dropping spears. Are they dropping anything, any weapons at all? Nine experience points. Whoopee. Take. Items. Another six holy leather symbols. Uh, I wish I could split this pile of items into one. So I could take one, rather than all six of them. I don't want to weigh Durton down with six leather holy symbols when he's possibly just going to wear one. Just ignore them, it doesn't matter. No. Turn around. I'm meant to go this way. And out the door. There we go. Ow. Uh, that's back to that. The uh, east exit here, I believe, would be out of the city. Uh, encamp, B, no, and go through. Oh, that's actually into a house. Ivy covered house. How lovely. This area is really not as powerful as I thought it would be when I first came in here, but uh... But the encounters aren't that much more difficult than other parts of the city we've been in. Oh, the monsters stand ready. Uh, await. Monsters stand ready. Oh, advance. Uh, combat! I turned the frames down just in case they'd say, say anything. <laughs> we've blocked them off in the alleyway. Cast fireball. Because this is a perfect time to use it. Uh. Do, 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 do. Hmm. There. Boom. Boom. Twenty-eight points of damage. Fourteen. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Ooh, we just missed scampers there from that. <laughs> there are two oxen there, and they're just like, where'd all our buddies go? <laughs> they weren't around here before, just before. Get out of here. There we go. No, they just feel the heat at their back and they're like, um... Are you going to turn around? See if they're still there? No, no, I, I gotta trust that they're still there. Take. I don't want your silver. Ugh. Play bunny. It is one thing I wish this game had a bit more in it. Uh... Shops where I could buy magical items or potions and the like. Because I have all this money, I have nothing to spend it on. Thanks. 
Scampers might need a new pair of pants. Uh. Possibly. Either because. Either because, uh, you'd want to wear your brown pants, or they got singed off. Was it a fireball? Reminds me in one of the, uh. Oh, jeez. I think it's in Homeland, the uh, first book of the Dark Elf trilogy, with Drizzt in it, and uh, at one point, this mage tries to summon, I think their mother's spirit from the realm of Lolth, and uh, Lolth isn't very impressed by this, and uh, sends a handmaiden called a Yorklol, I think it's called, some kind of demon thing which looks like a large melting candle. And uh, it summons a bunch of spiders and they uh, panic and they end up dropping a fireball at their own feet to get rid of them all. Uh, um, exit. See a group of four orcs. Another one. Advance, advance. Combat. Ow. Bonk. There we go. Uh, God. God. Nope. Yay! Nine experience. Exit. Nope. Okay. Encamp. Save. B. Okay. And continue on. Uh, right, right. Let's go in here. A lot of those old sort of 80s fantasy books are something which I'd like to get more of. And I remember seeing them in op shops around here, like, a decade ago. It was like, you know. I never really considered buying them, and I should have bought them when I saw them because they, you can't find them in the shop in the uh, op shops anymore. Uh. Anyway. Nope. And there. Let's go in here. You spot a group of orcs. You have su surprised them. I thought it was you had surrendered <laughs> surrendered to them. I was like, what? <laughs> There are, uh, yeah, uh, hmm, cast, stinking cloud. Should I really cast this? We don't need to. Uh. Waste some magic. Oh well. Uh, get him. They have to flee through us. <laughs> if they want to escape. <laughs> Actually, they just turn around. And there we go. Done. God, God, God. Nope. 18 experience points. Take money. We don't need it. Is there anything else in here? Apparently not. What about here? Nope. What a group of whole goblins. The monsters stand ready. Uh, advance. Advance. Uh, combat. Hey, whole goblins. You're a bit more uh, challenging than orcs. Not by much, though. Where? Ow. What's your thacko? 18. Hmm. Just lucky rolls, I guess. <laughs> it's funny in these old CRPGs, and it's like, most of the time the car two parties are just sitting there flailing their weapons at each other, missing. I mean, you can imagine that they're parrying the blows and all that, but, uh... 
It's just like swing, miss, swing, miss, swing, miss. Or they're dodging out of the way, but. Okay, take. What have you got? Long swords. Money. There. Puh, I say. I scoff at your leavings. Oh, you are surprised by ogres. How? Are they hiding under the carpet or something? Magic missile. Get out of here. Stab it! Stab it in its knees! What's the ogre's Thacko? Uh, armor class is 5, Thacko is 15. Fine. Continue battle? Nope. 57 experience points. Yay. Take. 10 gold. Exit. No. Don't need it. See a group of 4 orcs just sitting in the corner here. Bat. God. Ow! Scampers! What are you doing getting hit all the time? Getting hit all the time. Hitting. There we go. Uh, you can go there and just guard. Okay, I think you hit Arala. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have any more heal spells left, do we? No, we don't. We might have to leave and come back after we uh, replenish our spells and all that. Take money. Ah, eh, forget it. Items. Ah, eh, forget it. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Let's uh, encamp, save, B. And we'll... Uh, Exit the city, rest up outside, heal up, and come back in. Leave, and encamp, save, see, no, uh, Volkmar, magic, memorize, cure light wounds, uh, yes, certain, cure light wounds, yes, rest. Cast. Cure light wounds. Cast it on campers. One hit point. Lovely. Five hit points. Six hit points. That's a bit better. Dirtin. Uh. Three. Okay. Right. Actually. Uh, cast. Bless. <clears throat> and cast protection from evil. Yeah, on Vorkmar, sure, why not? And uh, you can cast Bless. And just cast your curse, and we'll memorize the maximum number of uh, Cure Light Wound spells. That makes it easier. There we go. Exit. Save. C, O, rest. There we go. Cast. No, wait. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Cast. Cure life wounds on Balagar. Go. And on Balagar. And on Irala. Again. And again. On Irala. Again. And again. And again, you just heal right up to last one hit point missing. Just can't heal that last hit point. Always gonna have to miss it. 
Thankfully, most of the wounds were on our front linesmen, which is good. That's uh, how it's supposed to go. Okay, good. Uh, you can memorize a bless, a curse, detect magic, and two cure light wounds. And third level. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> now, prayer is. I'm still not impressed by it. It really only seems to work on the spellcaster, even though it says it's supposed to affect all party members and all enemies nearby. Maybe it does, but it just doesn't have an animation for that, but other characters aren't getting a buff from it. Um, Cause blindness would be useful if there was a mage or something to stop them from casting spells at us. Yeah, memorize cause blindness. Certain, uh, cast to the light wounds. From Egrim. And on yourself. There we go. Exit. Memorize. A bless. A curse. And you don't need detect magic. What? You could have detect magic. Because that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be picking items up. <clears throat> hmm. Pardon me. Um... Yeah, get to tech magic. And second level. Hold person. Egrim. Get asleep. Two magic missiles. And third level. Well, two fireballs. Elspeth. Uh, asleep, a magic missile, and second level you could have. We had two stinking clouds. Get another. Rest up, memorize. Exit, save, B, no, and we'll go back into town. Uh, city. Okay, we're back at Coval Mansion, but we can just head back down again. There we go. You see a group of orcs. Okay. Advance. Uh, combat. I get the feeling these are going to keep showing up until we deal with the temple. Because they seem to be about that. Related to that. So. Bog. There we go. Didn't even break a sweat. Exit. No. Save. The. There we go. Go in here. Again. Save. Just in case. And go in. Nothing. Is there anything here at all? Nope. What about down here? Hmm. There's a door leading down there. Interesting. You see a group of four, four rocks. R just in here. Come back them. Damn these rocks. They get into the darndest places. There we go. Whoa, nine experience points. That's going to be the experience points which makes the difference. <laughs> the, uh, Godbox Companion saying there's a door there. Uh. Hmm. Y yeah. 
<laughs> if you see on the map, we've actually appeared up here. Uh, good thing I was saved beforehand. Is that just a error in the map? Possibly. Okay, let's uh, reload that and uh, forget that that was a thing. Maybe it opens up later on. I might have found a bug. I think I have. Oh, man. Someone was making the map and they didn't change the... Ah, uh, what's it called? They didn't change the... Uh, properties of a tile. Or maybe it leads somewhere later on. I don't know. Anyway, good thing I saved. I'm thinking, is that going to dump me outside of the town, or...? More orcs. Advance, advance. Combat. Dab. Dab. You cannot imagine what I've seen! Get out of my way! Our world is a lie! We are but pawns, I tell you. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Exit. Okay, let's go in here. Since this seems important. Oh, hello. You enter into a filthy room. Eight orc guards. Charged you or something. You enter the filthy room. Inside the filthy room is five is eight filthy orcs who use filthy language to I don't know, hurl filthy insults at you. So much filth. Um Volkmar, what do we do? It's not your turn yet. Bring that other lord leader. Purge the filth! There we go. By Sigma, no! Uh, take money, find items. Battle axe, chainmail, longbow, longbow, five arrows, chainmail, battle axe. Chances of any of it being magical? Pretty low. If I want any of it, not really. Do I want to try and <sighs> detect it? Mace went down quick. Oh, was one of them a unique character there? Mace was a named character. I I didn't even notice there was a named character there. If that's the case, okay. Let's I let's identify the items. Nope, doesn't look like any of them were magical. Oh well. No, I'm gonna turn the cycles down if there's going to be talking in this area. I do have another detect magic. Oh, you see a group of four, oh, four orcs. I think it's some. I always think it's something more important. It's just the same group of four orcs again and again. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Ow. Uh, that's fine. Hit him. <laughs> it's going slow because I have the turns down. There we go. Well, the battle was just o was over just this quick. Take items. Yes, yeah, just the leather holy items again. We don't need those. Save. I should add Krell to the party. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he would be a fighter with a giant two-handed axe. I don't think there's two-handed axes in this. He'd have to be equipped with a helmet or something. It was Bardich. That's kind of a two-handed axe. Um... There. You enter a room that has accrued hay beds. 
What will you do? Search the beds or leave them? Search them, of course. You find an orc in the bed. As you search the beds, a group of orcs comes into the room. They... Something or other. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing? Get out of my bed. <laughs> oh, they're after me big bugs. I was saving them, I was. Uh, that's a fun and funny image. They just enter the room and they see this band of seven adventurers arms deep in hay <laughs> shuffling around in it. Like, uh, should we interrupt them? <laughs> what are you doing? Looking for loot. Nope. Take. The silver. Forget it. You finish searching the beds, but you find nothing but lice in here. Ah, Is the lice magical? <laughs> no ranger in the party? Uh, no. R Rangers aren't a class in, uh, this version of D&D. &D. The four classes we have are fighter, thief, uh, cleric, and magic user. That's it. There's no rangers, there's no paladins. Uh, there's no druids, priests, or anything else like that, so. If we get to the others, if we get to other ones in the series, the, uh, pass, the classes available will open up, because I'll add it in later, ver later editions, but, uh, not in this one. In camp. Save. B. No bow user. Um, well, Belagar and Arala, being fighters, can use bows. Uh, Scampers can't use a bow, even though you'd expect a thief to be able to use a short bow at least, but no. Scampers has a sling, which we might use occasionally at range, but uh, the only bow users are Belagar and Arala, and they tend to be focused on melee combat. They do have bows um, in their inventories. If I need them to shoot at ranged. And we have some arrows plus one. Or just normal arrows. But uh, yeah, we haven't really been using ranged too much. If the enemy are at distance, I, I might swap over to that. But uh, only fighters can use bows in this. As I said, um... Thieves can use slings. They maybe can use darts. Mages can only use darts at ranged. I don't think there's throwing knives. You went to a room that has been converted into a cell. Okay. On the wall here is a poorly scratched out message. You can barely make out the words north wall, right, front, glass, uh, SE. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, I didn't finish writing this out. Uh, journal entry 53. That was, uh, inventory of monsters. And let's see. Uh, in mansion in wealth, wealthy Water, uh, north wall, right, front, glass, dot, S E. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, um, seemed like there was anything in there. We're going to...
Yeah, okay. That's all that's here. Oh, we spotted a group of ogres. Was the stand ready? Combat. Wow. Four ogres. Can I cast whole person on them? They're technically humanoid. They're just big humanoids. Nope. 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 Ogres aren't humanoids. At least for the purposes of the spell. We could put them asleep, but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, put up the cycles. There we go. God. God. Why do they turn away? To attack a target on the diagonal like that. There we go. Dirton's just here punching ogres to death. Bam. Four ogres. No problem at all. 114 experience. Take. 20 gold. He said, nope. Okay. Well, we cleared out that. Uh, oh. More ogres. Advance. You were surprised them. We surprised them advanced quickly on them, so... That was neat. Get him! Pile in! No. Guard. Hit. Hit. Miss. You botched it! Bonk. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on! Who's going to get the killing blow? Volkmar! Well done. Nope. Yay! Okay, take 15 gold. Nope. Okay. What do we do for time? Oh, perfectly fine. We actually went through that pretty quickly. So... Let's go on to the next area then. Temple of Bane. This is where we were told to go f first off. Hmm. I suppose this might be a converted temple of another god? Or perhaps they just built it themselves? You were surprised by orcs! <laughs> okay. That's a fair number of orcs. They're trying to flee now. <laughs> you shall not flee. No. Ah ha ha. Nope. Forty three experience. Hooray. Uh, take. Forget that. Nope. What's in here? Nothing. Just a room. I kind of want to explore this entire outside area before I go into the temple itself. Okay. Oh, you see a group of four orcs whose shields bear a black hand. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flee. <laughs> we fled to exactly where we left off. I, I don't want to fight any more of those. Those are just the four orcs we've been fighting the whole time. Spot a group of ogres. You're surprised them. Flee. I'm not interested in fighting them. Yes, yes, yes. Flee. You stand in front of the entrance. Ooh. You stand in front of the entrance to a large shadowy temple. An old, blind, decrepit orc stands outside with eight orc guards. As you approach, they move, allowing you entrance into the temple. Hey! Okay, so uh, because we're wearing the symbols, apparently they recognize us as worshippers of Bane. <laughs> That's all it takes. I suppose the orcs aren't terribly bright. Funny how we're fleeing just to the same spot. No flee. Okay, let's uh, have a look through these areas around side. What's in here? You spot a group of orcs. You were surprised them. Uh, combat? I should have advanced. They come. There goes one. There goes two. There goes three. No, oh, they've used up all of our retaliation attacks. What's it called in Mind of Magic? You have uh, some retaliation. But that's more after you've been attacked, then you get an attack back. Guard, guard, nope. Hey. I thought that mostly because it was in a room and they might have had something different, but nope, they don't. Okay. Uh, wait, what? It's showing a wall on the map here, but uh, in game it's showing a corridor. Ah. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> a corridor with a uh, one-way wall in it. Yeah. You spot a group of orcs. You are surprised them. Advance. Combat. That is a lot of orcs again. Cast. Fireball. God. Uh yeah. Boom. Uh scampers might get hit by this. Oh thank lord. Okay. Just missed. But do you still have eyebrows, scampers? Oh, you let one get away. No, you didn't actually. He can't because there's no. There's a uh, wall there. Come back here, Orc. Get back here. After it. Don't need to move. <laughs> Whatever. God. 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 He's trying to phase through the wall to escape. Thank you. But we'd be sitting here for a while, constantly missing the fleeing orc. Nope. Yay. Tank. Silver. Nope. Anything here? Apparently not.
Camp. B. No. Just another empty room. It seems like these rooms really don't have anything in them. What a group of orcs. Just flee. Pfft. Battle begins. You can't flee. Stab. Well done. The game said 90 orcs. I'm sure we've killed more than 90 orcs. Is it going to keep track of how many orcs we kill until we kill 90 of them? Uh, do I want to use another fireball? Is that a rhetorical question? Come on, cast it before they all get out of that room. Right down the center, please. Boom! Eleven, twenty-two, 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 eleven, twenty-two. So apparently we just roll once for how much damage we deal with the fireball, and then it's dealt that damage to every orc which is in the area. The occasional eleven is when they actually make their saving throw, and they take half the amount of damage. Which means nothing, because uh, half of it is still enough to kill them. So... Gonna have to chase them all down. Guard. You. We're gonna switch you over from that to your sling of seeking. Aim. Pew. Bonk. Unless you just miss. That orc up there better not uh, get stuck against the wall. Otherwise I'll have to go all the way up there to get it. That's a little th thing which is a little annoying in this game. The uh, arenas in this battle, battle maps, are probably are really kind of far too big. <laughs> like it's all the way over there. Look at how zoomed out the map is. <laughs> Why would we need all this space? Uh, is it the entire like area map represented on the battle map? Quit. God. Oh, he's flying off the map. Okay. Good. Makes my job easier. Uh, aim. Can you hit an orc here? No, you can't. Uh, done. Quit. Aim. Manual. Try to hit something with your uh, sling of seeking. Hey! Well done. Come on, Balagar. Good. And one more. Fly true. Hey! Oh, well ton. Uh. Nope. There we go. What do we get? Just money. We get it. Camp. Safe. Nope. There's nothing in this room. Got a group of hobgoblins. Okay, let's just leave. Got a group of hobgoblins. Just 
Oh. <sighs> God. God. Move to there. I didn't want you to. Bog. God. God and God spread you out a bit so that you can uh present a wider frontage so they have a harder time getting around us. Items Take off your sling, put on your short sword. And then stab. Guard. Aim. I think sometimes I miss out on an attack because I, uh... I, I usually move into an enemy to attack them and I think sometimes you can't move that direction but you can still attack in that direction they have to sort of exit from the move command and then go aim and manually aim at the square next to you uh, to hit a target even though it seems like you might not be able to hit it I don't want to use any more magic I want to keep it for the inevitable large fight in the Temple of Bane There we go. It stinks that sweep is only available against smaller targets in this game. Is that how it works? Because, yeah, uh, the uh, multiple attacks we get is only against kobolds. Possibly goblins? Yeah, it would be nicer if it was against larger targets. Make these fights faster. I thought it was going to be once you get a certain level, you just are able to sweep lower level creatures aside. And I thought, you know, oh, we'd be able to use it against orcs at some point, but uh, nope. Because what is it? Against kobolds, we can attack like well, probably six per round now. Makes those fights go by a lot quicker. Uh, yep, kobolds and goblins. In 3rd edition D&D, multiple attacks were exactly that multiple. Oh, uh, yeah, right. You just get, yeah, you just get straight up more attacks. Hmm. Okay, are they all just gonna leave? Scampers. View. Items. Unequip that. Equip that. Aim. Get this one. Bonk, you miss. If they get caught on a wall up there... Okay, good, he fled off the map. Okay, good. They're all fleeing. Uh, no. Aim. Oh, he's just the last one there. Bonk. <sighs> you missed. Ah oh well. Take. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot of long swords, isn't it? Yep. Just normal swords. Ignore them. Leave. Camp. Be dope. And let's go into the temple. An old decrepit orc stands outside with eight orc guards. As you approach, they move, allowing you entrance into the temple. Okay. I assume we'd just have to fight them if we didn't have the, uh, thingies on, but, um, I, I think we'd be able to get in anyway. Oh, well. Hello. Anyone in here? A 
amongst the pews. I've turned down cycles again just in case we get dialogue so that it doesn't go past so quickly I can't read it. Hmm. Oh, ow. make moving around a little difficult though. Oh, we can't actually climb over the pews. I think it's just going to be the same on this side as well. Looks like it. Okay, and got to clear out the entire place, explore the entire place. Okay, let's uh, encamp here, save, B, no, and my fight sensors are tingling, so uh, Volkmar, you can cast Bless. In front of you is an altar that is smeared with blood and covered with crude black handprints. What will you do? do what will you do? Uh, destroy altar. As you destroy the altar, the temple doors fly open and a screaming horde of orcs led by a half-orc cleric attack. You turn to face them. A battle begins. Wow. Okay, that is quite a lot. Oh, hey! Face! Hey, that's that, uh... Half-orc you were talking about? Yeah. 25, uh, 25 hit points. Scores are 17, 10, 17, 17, 10, 10. Uh, also, just, just for people, um, with the, uh... This over here. The map. If I mouse over these squares, it's actually popping up with a little, uh information box about the characters. It gives me their uh, health, what, what they're called, uh, their various attributes, their saving throws, their AC, Thaco, and also their attacks, and also any other effects they may have. Uh, for like ghouls, it, rec it mentions, you know, paralyze, and for whites, it mentions drain level, all that. I don't think it works perfectly though. Some of them it seems to have a bunch of uh, effects which either don't mean anything or just aren't translated properly. Because they look like... Uh, it looks like it's trying to get information on a stat, but there's no information there to draw it. It's just like dollar sign D5 or something. Anyway, mace. Uh, saves are 9, 12, 13, 15, 14. AC is 1. Thacko is 17. That's not that good, really. I would expect him to have a better attacker than that. One attack per round at 1d3 plus 1. Okay, so he's, uh... He must be armed with a club. A a aside, a aside from the name, because a mace would be like... 2d5 or something, wouldn't it? Or better than that. I think a club is 1d3. Oh, the rest is just orcs. Oh, no, hey. Orc leaders. I didn't see them. Okay. Uh. Oh, you've got your sling of seeking on. And I'm not focused into the window. There we go. Stab. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Let the missiles fly. Cast. 
Uh, curse. If my mage could go soon. Okay, good. Cast. Ah. Uh, lightning bolt. Why not? I hope it won't hit uh, Egrim. Good. Land, lay, landed a blow against Mace there. Um. Aim there. <laughs> oh, that died out pretty quickly. It did carve a path through them. No, don't attack him. Uh, Egram, if you could go sometime, that would be great. Okay, but you don't have any spells, you can't cast anything. I suppose you've been too... I don't know, is there like an, eff an effect where they get stunned and they can't cast spells for a turn or something? Let's turn up cycles a bit more. This is such a large brawl. Scampers. No. Cast. Stinking cloud. Uh, there. Go. I'll take a bit of pressure off of you. Cast. Ah. Uh, you don't have a fireball. Cast asleep then. There. There we go. Nine orcs went nine nine. Ooh! It's casting whole person. My god. Uh Irala has been held. For nine turns. Cast it on that orc. That orc has a short bow, so we don't have to worry about it. Hold him. And I don't think anyone else can get to Irala. Uh, is he too far away? I think he's too far away. Well, we paralyzed one of them, so the one which was in melee with Arala. I Means Arala won't be instantly killed by that orc. Unless another orc decides to shoot Arala. You missed. I should have cast hold person. <laughs> Cast. Uh, magic missile. On mace. Bam! 11 points of damage. I had a fireball. I don't. I got stinking clouds for days. Uh, 
Toss there. That orc is, uh, held and also sleeped. <laughs> uh, cast. Oh no, curse. Okay, what do I want to do with you? Um, just attack that one. And uh, you can't actually cast any spells. Okay, um, yeah. Curse him. They'll at least help lower their morale. Cast a stinking cloud. Cast old person, or should I just try and attack him? Well, no. Hey, Mace is held. Great. Ow. We're just surrounded by sleeping or paralyzed or uh, unconscious orcs. <laughs> they can't get to us. Cast. Uh. Can't really do anything. Let's punch that orc. Cast asleep. Here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Must smell wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose the sinking clouds must uh, spread beyond the uh, area it shows. At least somewhat. Just a very localized stink cloud. Okay, move there. Get rid of him. Not to mention all the orcs. I can't imagine they smell very nice either. Bam! Dead. Good. Finally done. Uh, there's no targets worthy of a magic missile. Ah, uh, view. We've got to unequip your quarterstaff, equip your darts. Let's start getting rid of some of these orcs. Which are, um, unconscious and the like. Five more turns for Arala to get out of being held. <laughs> You're a stinky clown whenever you drink milk. Oh no! <laughs> uh. Um. Strength. I'm sure. Cast strength on. No? Oh, that's a camp only spell. Oh, okay. Really? I suppose so. Uh, view. Equip your darts. Aim. This is probably the best way to use darts against paralyzed targets because then you're at least guaranteed a hit and a kill. Otherwise, they're really just kind of lame. Uh. Cast. Don't have any more. 
uh, hold persons. Uh, he actually went into that. It went into that cloud without uh, getting stunned. Just walked right in. Dab. That's a sling booger, so I can incapacitate targets of money. They, it is certainly the best way to use them. I'm glad we don't have to purchase sling bullets in this. Uh, you, you just have an infinite supply of them. I would kind of prefer that for other shot for other ranged weapons as well. It would be easier inventory management wise. It's just um. Any of these aren't actually awake. That orc is. Get rid of him. Um, I understand though because uh, arrows have different types. Bullets also had different types and slings. Um, yeah, you can move there. Cast, cure life wounds. Can't agree. Hey, eight hit points back. Um, cast. Sleep? I don't really want to cast sleep right when you're there. Unequip the darts. Quit the quarter staff. You well you dealt four de felt dealt four damage. Cast hmm. Uh Stinking cloud. Pass it here. There we go. Hey! You're supposed to be unconscious. <laughs> Cheater! He held his breath. There we go. Oh, if I had a fireball prepared. Uh. Get him. Bonk! Bonk. Okay. View items. Unequip your short sword. Equip your sling of seeking. Aim and aim for them. Bam! There we go. Okay, good, good. How many more? Do we have to slaughter before they uh, start fleeing? View items, get rid of that. Equip your darts, aim, and review. You don't have a chance of winning. You might be able to kill someone, but uh, I hope it wouldn't come to that. Though, like, frankly, we've got the money, we can just resurrect someone. And if they die well, they're not, if they lose experience, it doesn't matter because some of our characters. Well, Irana was one turn away from being resurrected. Was one turn away from not being held. I'm surprised they didn't hit her uh, more recent earlier than that. Ah. Uh. Uh. Cast your light wounds on a bomber. There we go. Uh, aim. It was that last one right there. Ah. Uh. Only one archer left, and he gets one shot off and drops the armor. Focus on the uncon on the helpless ones. Uh, 
view. Equip your quarter staff. How did he attack you? You're, or did he try and attack Ingram? Because Elspeth is actually uh, invisible. Oh yeah, not anymore. But good. Uh. Don't go for these ones. Go for this one. Maybe they won't flee. Maybe they're just that angry at us. Oh, you've got a dart equipped still. There we go. Bah! Bah! Doton. Uh. Okay. Aim. Cast. Cure light wounds. Uh, view, unequip your quarterstaff, equip your darts, aim at that orc, aim at that orc, cast that on Egrim, or, but he rather's healed but unconscious. Uh, discard. Aim. That one. It really does seem like they're just going to attack it to the death. There we go. That's actually a pretty good hit with a dart. You don't want three damage. Aha! Guard. Guard. <laughs> the last one's fleeing. Get back here. Dead. That dwarf is really fast on his feet. Okay. Guard. Guard. Quit. Nope. Yay! Party has won. Each character receives 298 experience points, which is kind of piddly. Ooh. Now yeah, for the looting. Take the money. Silver and Electrum. Okay. What about the items? Boy. <laughs> what a lot of uh stuff. Exit. Detect. Take. Items. There's a magic mace. I suppose that makes sense. Items. Take the mace. And that's it! That was the only thing magical there, just a mace. Longbows, chainmail, battle axes, chainmail, battle axe, longbow, chainmail, battle axe, chainmail, shortbow. Shortbow, 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 shortbow. Uh, uh, money. The uh, 100. No, I don't want the silver, I want the electrum. Because the electrum's more valuable than the silver. That silver is like... 30 gold, I think? Or something like that? There we go. 
Electro room is two gold per. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. It's, it's kind of... Uh, I've actually been dropping gold just because we have so much of it. Um, it's like, only, we only deal in platinum. We only... Platinum is the only thing worth... Uh, copper. 200 copper is one gold piece. Silver. 20 silver is one gold piece. Electrum is two. Em Electrum for one gold. Gold is one to one. <laughs> platinum is... Uh, every platinum piece is worth five gold pieces. Or one-fifth of a platinum piece is worth one gold piece. So, uh... Exit. Nope. On the dead body of... Oh. I didn't read that. I did see that. Damn it. Thank you for helping us regain our temple. I must stay here now. I bid you farewell. Probably like a... Uh... Can I, uh... Go back into recording or something and see that? Oh! I think it was telling me about, like, um... There was a note to read or something. On the body of the orc, there was a note or something. Let me have a look. Let's see. Uh... Okay, let's see. Pool of Radiance Mace. Okay, I'm just going to look at a walkthrough to see if there's a note on him. Uh, oh, apparently we just need one leather holy symbol of Bane to be able to get into the temple. Okay, and a notice recorded as journal entry 25. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Also, uh, because of Durton leaving our party, the uh, Gobox companion just crashed because our party changed uh, size. So I will have to reload that. I'll just save under C. No. And uh, we just load that up again. There we go. Oh, Durton's not there anymore. Oh well. So, what was that? Journal entry 25. Uh, let me just bring up my notes. And, uh, Adventurous Journal. Uh, let me just check that it said 25. I'm reading the right one. Yep, okay. <clears throat> um, an official looking notice. The number of undead creeping out of the Valhingen graveyard is increasing. These undead have disrupted training, destroyed property, and killed many of our troops. Patrols have been sent into the graveyard to reconnoiter and determine the source of the undead. None have returned. Under your responsibilities as a priest of Bane in the city, you must help combat the menace. Lead a group of acolytes into the graveyard with the purpose of discovering the source and leader of the undead. If your group can engage and defeat the leader or destroy the source, do so. If your group is outmatched, return with your information so that we can form an assault group with clerics and troops. Upon completion of this mission, you will be in line for promotion to the next higher rank in the hierarchy of the Temple of Bane in Flan. Signed, the boss. Okay. Let me just write that down. Uh, journal entry... 25, note to Mace, Priest of Bane, about Graveyard. There we go. Okay, well, we've already dealt with a graveyard, so he's a bit slow on that. Mm. Okay. Let's explore the rest of this temple, because I think there's some things to find in here. Ow. Oop, the remains of an evil altar are nearby. Yeah. I wonder how it got destroyed.
Okay, okay. Uh, we did have a note written down. Um, where was it? In mansion in wealthy quarter. North wall, right front glass, SE. Okay. North wall. Right front glass. I think there's stuff to find around here. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, let me see that note again. North wall. I'm assuming that's talking about here. Right front glass. This one. Southeast. Here. Hmm. On the floor, you find a trapdoor. Will you open it? Uh, sure. Open trapdoor. The party has found treasure! How do we miss a trapdoor? Oh, well. Each character receives 400 experience points. It could have been blended into the floor. Ooh. Cleric scrolls and magic user scrolls. Ogma. Can you take these? Well, you would if you had the, uh... If you weren't overloaded. Uh, I suppose I just got to search the entire uh, church to see whether we find any other things like that. Yes, yes. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Hmm. Nope. And... Nope. Wah! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well... Can we go into the side of the altar? We found something. Um, is that what we were supposed to look for? Hold on.
Okay. <laughs> okay. I just missed it. Yeah, I'm looking at something to uh, find these. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Uh, let's see. Potions! Uh, wand. Uh, dust. Four gold statuettes and a woods ho woods holy symbol. What's the dust? Do we need the dust? I don't think the dust is useful. It's too heavy anyway. Seven gold statuettes. Uh, take them. Okay, and I think one other was like, yeah, here. Okay, open trap door. Yay, loot. Ooh, is this all magical? Oh no, can't tell. Ah oh, boy. Uh, yes, I do. Looks like we've come to that time again. I'm going to have to... Yeah, everyone's inventory is just full of items, aren't they? Yep. Let me have a look at this. What's this say about those? Ooh, actually... Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I don't think these are worth anything. I don't think this is worth anything. This, I think, is actually something quite valuable. Um. So many potions. We haven't used any of them. Yeah, it's going to be like that, isn't it? I'm just going to... Hoard all the potions. Oh, you're not ring you're wearing your ring of fire resistance. Volkmar. You can carry a few more things, can't you? Yeah, you nearly took all of it. Except for the uh, short sword. Scampers. Uh, oh, we can get rid of these now. Drop. Yes. Take items. Yes, yes, I will, because I dropped all my money there. Thank you, game, for uh, telling me that. I don't want to leave all my money. Um, drop. Yes. Exit. Drop. Yes. Drop. Yes. We'll just drop these symbols of Bane. Yep. There we go. Okay. And share out the money. And I think we've taken all of it. So, there we go. Okay. Camp. Save. B. No. And let's head back to town. We're going a little bit over two hours, but, uh... I want to go and wrap this up. There's those rooms onto the west and north, but, uh... I don't know. Maybe we can come back and have a look at them. I think we've done most of what we came here to do. Yes, yes. Okay, let me camp again and uh, exit here. There we go. Uh, no, I don't want to enter the graveyard. No. 
Uh, boat. Go. Let's go get these items identified first. I might have to leave and come back. Because it's currently night time. And even shopkeepers need their sleep. Before we... Well. I could just go back there now and... Uh, there we go. Camp, save, B, no. And go in. Hey, shopkeep. Uh, yes. I got a pool. And... View. Items. Okay, let's have a look. Identify... This. Looks like a hand axe plus one. Okay, what's this? It's nothing. I think we could just sell that. 250 gold pieces for wood's holy symbol. I don't think we need that. What about these seven gold statuettes? 87 gold pieces for the seven gold statuettes. I think we can get rid of those. I don't think they're valuable. And this holy symbol, I'm going to bet that's not valuable or important for anything either. So. This dust, though. Let's identify that. Dust of disappearance. 4,000 gold pieces. Right. I think that means it casts uh, invisibility on you when you use it. Which is pretty good. I suppose we've got spells which cast invisibility on us, though. Uh, this wand. Identify. Yes. A wand of magic missiles. Hey! Well, actually, come to think of it, I'm surprised we haven't got one of those earlier. Uh, identify this spear. Spear plus one. The scimitar. Scimitar plus one. Morning star. Morning star plus one. A mace. Mace plus one. Hammer. Hammer plus one. Dagger. Dagger plus one. Yeah, we probably should have done this bit of bit earlier. All this stuff is kind of a game. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. I mean, we've got a hammer plus three on Volkmar. Sell the Morning Star. Sell the Scimitar. And sell the Spear. I'm assuming they're just plus ones. They don't have anything else attached to them. I'm pretty sure. I, I would assume the game would say if there was something more to them than just that. Base plus one. Sell. And sell. You've got a base plus two. Um. Well. Trade that to Volkmar. It's overloaded. With all the gold which from the items we just sold. Cool. Egrim. Got a wand of lightning bolt. Don't need any. Actually, do we have any... Potions. I did pick up some potions, didn't I? Elspeth. A uh, few items. Ah, here they are. Identify this. Potion of giant strength. Potion of healing. And a potion of speed. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay. Mm. Exit. Scampers, you can trade the mace to Volkmar. And, uh, is that all the items? Yeah, that is. We can sell that hand axe as well. Yeah, you've got a longsword plus one, which is better. Better. What? Oh, you, I already identified it. Sell. Yes. Okay, um, Arala, let me just check your inventory. You got the broadsword plus one still. I don't think we need that anymore. We've got longsword plus one. I'm not going to swap over at any time just to use that. There we go. Okay, pool, chair. We've got all this stuff which we could appraise, but, uh, don't need to, because frankly we have an obscene amount of money. How much money do we have? Yeah, 6,153 platinum. Times that by 5, and that's the amount of gold we have. 
Not to mention in all this money and jewels and gems here. Oh, man. Share it out. It's not going to be any of the monsters which end up killing us. It's going to be us breaking our backs from carrying all this money around with us. And we're just on our way to, uh, you know, get some more. Because we've got this quest to hand in. So let's, uh, save, be, and go in. Hey there! Uh, yep, you must see if I'm due, if I, I can offer any commissions. Oh, you must see I'm, if I'm due a current reward. I turned the cycles down a bit too far there. You have cleared the area next to the evil temple. Here is your reward. In a wealthy area? Oh, thank you. Hey, 249 experience. Is it money? I really don't need more money. It's money. 99 platinum and three gems. Thank you. The council was pleased by the elimination of the thieves in Koval Mansion. Here is your reward. Hey, we actually did that. Yay, 191 experience. Take. 80 platinum and three gems. You'd think they'd be needing all this to, uh, set, uh, to, uh, recolonize the city. Congratulations, you may keep all you found in the Temple of Bane as a reward. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I sold it all. Most of it. Cloak shuffles through her papers. On the mantles of commission, she says, I can offer the following. Find the nomads and stop them from joining forces with our enemies. Large tribe of kobolds is being recruited by the enemy. Make sure they don't join the enemy forces. That should be easy now that we have fireballs. Find the source of the river's pollution and end it. That's a new one. Uh... Koval Mansion clear of thieves. Done. Uh, I'll just... I'll have to add one here. Clear. Clear. Temple of Bane. Done. Uh, find the source of the river's pollution and end it. And that is not done. Okay. Don't need to have that note there anymore. Because we've already gone to the graveyard. It was just a note for me to equip the two-handed sword against the undead. All the commissions currently available. Okay. Let's leave. And, uh, is there any more proclamations? Now we've gone the wrong way. Uh, pff, which way am I facing? That way. Okay, let's exit. And we'll turn around. And... Proclamations. CCIV. I think we wrote that one down. Uh, that is... Do I have a whole proclamations? Oh no, CCIV. We had a CXIV last time. Rescue Miner from Buccaneers, that was. Um, so what's this one? CCIV. Uh... Be it known that the council was interested in obtaining information about the disposition of various kobolds currently believed to be gathering in support of, force, uh, a of forces aimed on the destruction of our fair city. A generous reward is offered to any who shall scout out the doings of these foul creatures and report such to the council. A larger reward is offered in marshalling of said kobolds if the marshalling of said kobolds can be prevented. A commission may be obtained from the council clerk. Okay. Hey clerk, I noticed this proclamation upside, outside which you just stuck up on the wall. The glue had it even dried. Yes, yes. Find the nomads to stop them from joining forces with our enemies. Large tribe of kobolds being recruited. Now, oh, we already have that one then. Okay. Pfft. You actually told us about that one before you even had the proclamation up on the wall. Okay. Well, there we go. No one needs to level up. And I think I'm going to leave healing my party until next time.
so that we don't end up taking another 10 minutes or so. So, I will save and uh, I will go to our little hidey hole up in the top left hand corner here and uh, we'll heal up a party members next time. Bash. Bash. Turn around. Not there. And over here. Bash. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> I tell myself these things and then I get there and I'm like, I just... Since we're here... Just gets it out of the way, honestly. We'll heal up our party. We've done a fair bit. We've cleared out the mansion of thieves, cleared out the wealthy area, and the Temple of Bane. I'm glad we're able to do all of that this session. There we go. <laughs> oh, for a... What's it called? I could probably go to the temple and get healing that way, but I'd have to pay for that! Ugh. <laughs> they charge an arm and a leg. I'm not made of money, well... Hmm. Memorize, cure light wounds. Oh, my spellcast is for a cure moderate wounds. Um... Just thinking, is there such a thing as a gold golem in d and I could just turn all of my gold and platinum into a golem. Make your money work for you. Literally. What was a gold golem? It's, uh, my bodyguard. It's also, like, what's it called? Like... I can't, I, I, I can't even, I can't make the joke because I forget the terms. <laughs> like, fungible funds or something like that. Okay, and a bit more. There we go. Everyone's nicely healed up. Uh... What do you need for a second level? Um, whole person. Yep. Agrim. Uh, sleep. Magic missiles. Stinking cloud. Fireball, fireball. Fireball, fireball. I wasn't that impressed by lightning bolt, really. Compared to fireball, it does, like damage to all targets in a line. It doesn't go as far as I thought it would. In Baldur's Skate it bounces all over the place and you always wish it lasted less because it ends up carving through your own guys. Damn it. Uh, no. Memorize. I know I was enjoy looking forward to haste, but uh, I'm a lot more hesitant of using haste now that I've realised that it ages people by a year every time you cast it. I thought of knew that that was going to happen. I knew that was a thing in some role-playing games. I didn't realise that was a thing in this role-playing game. So it uh, makes it sort of more of an emergency situation only spell. It's because I don't want to be using it all willy-nilly and getting our characters all old. Even though they'd have to age quite a bit before I think they start getting penalties from it. You know, I don't want to... Irana's already... Everyone's already been aged two years from it, so... It's two years they won't get back. Oh well. Um, one of those was from combat. The other one was because I needed to free up the slot. <laughs> and you don't get a choice to just remove a spell. You have to cast it. And... Haste can be cast outside of combat. Okay. So. We will. 
Ah, we're all nicely healed up. Gotten all everything sold, identified, done a fair bit, and we will call it there for this session. And next time we will... I'm not too sure. Uh, Go out, do the nomads, I think, and then the kobolds caves. With Fireball, that will be a lot easier. And then possibly go and uh, find the source of the rivers. There's also that kidnapping we should have a look at. Go to the Buccaneers' Den for that. Um, yeah. Uh, since I got someone here who seems to know the game a bit, um, is there any, if, if you know, um, if you know an answer to this, it's fine if you don't. If, is there any quests in this game which have a time limit attached to them? Because I don't think I've come across any of them. I sort of got the impression from the graveyard. It might have been, uh. No? None? Okay, that's good. So I've got all the time I want to be able to get around to doing things. That's good. It's always something I'm a bit paranoid about. The game saying, hey, you know, oh, you don't need to do this, and then later on you're like, oh, you should have done this. It's like, I didn't realise I was being timed for it. But that's good to know. Right. Okay. So, thank you very much for joining for this. And it's not Pathfinder Kingmate here. Oh boy. I've heard of that. I don't... There's a lot of role-playing games which came out over the f years and I haven't... Yeah, right. And I haven't really looked at them. There's also, what, Pillars of... What's it called? Because... I like a good adventure... I got like a good role-playing game. They take a long time. I've got Divinity Original Sin and I still haven't finished that. <laughs> Uh, Pathfinder looks pretty good. Very, uh, what's it called? Yeah, very, uh, Infinity Engine inspired. There's green circles around people's feet. Of course it is. Okay. Kingmaker's relatively new RPG has many timers. I think I did, you'd think I'd enjoy it. Very, very unforgiving. I do like Challenge. In uh, role-playing games. I've said before, part of what I like of these older ones is uh, kind of the unforgiving nature of them. I do reload every time my characters get level drained. Um, and I do like in later ones that became a temporary, or at least you could heal level drain. Uh, one of the things I like the most in this is, say, trolls. Where you have to kill them with fire or acid. Otherwise they just keep getting back up. Though due to a bug in this, we haven't really seen that because if a troll dies and you step on its corpse, it can't get back up. <laughs> but I like that kind of sort of definite you have to do this. It's not something I feel is in a lot of games. Like in Skyrim where the, uh, I like Skyrim, but uh, the trolls, they have regeneration, but you can just kill them by hacking them. You don't need to do anything special to them. It means that you have to prepare for a battle, know what you're going up against. It was something I enjoyed about The Witcher 1. It was like, I'm going up against undead. I'm going to need these potions, and I'm going to need these protections, because they could be vampires, or, you know, blood-sucking creatures. It's like, if I prepare well, then it's easier to deal with. So, does Kingmaker have a mission for me? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at that. Anyway, that will be it for this one. So I'll stop the recording.